49th one, they said, that has taken this pill and going through this. Prayers and a search for answers tonight from a local mother. Her 28-year-old son fights to stay alive after ingesting what appears to be a fentanyl disguised as a Norco pill. Jerome Butler is one of 28 people who public health officials believe have taken this poisonous pill since last week. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. Health officials are investigating six deaths that could be the result of that contaminated medication. Lab results released earlier today show some of the pills are straight fentanyl, made to look like Norco pills. New tonight, CBS 13's Adrian Moore is in the newsroom with the very latest for us. Adrian? Christina and Sam, two days ago, Jerome Butler was found unresponsive at a friend's house. It took paramedics 12 minutes to revive him, all after taking what he thought was a prescription Norco pill from a friend. Now tonight, his mother believes Jerome's case could help save others. My son, my only son, my firstborn. Outside the sterile walls of Kaiser South, a mother's faith is being tested. He lost a lot of oxygen to the brain. So what that did, it made the kidney fail, the liver fail, the brain is swollen. He's on a respirator now. Natasha Butler hasn't left her son's side since Sunday when 28 year old Jerome Butler was found unconscious at a friend's house. She says the father of three accidentally took a fentanyl pill that he thought was a prescription Norco pill to help with chronic stomach pain. Natasha says it was given to Jerome by someone he trusted. When he was brought to the hospital, um, he was pretty much non responsive. Um, he was resuscitated twice. Over the last week, a warning about the fast acting, potentially deadly combination of the two painkillers has grown more stern from Sacramento County health officials, who say 28 cases and six deaths could be linked to the street drugs. The information we have is that people are buying it off the street, and some people are uh, telling us that they're getting it from neighbors or friends or family members. Doctors say Jerome may never recover, but Natasha says her son is strong in spirit and while family and friends continue to pray for Jerome's recovery Natasha wants to make sure other families are warned I wouldn't wish this on no one no one should have to go through something like this it has to stop it stops here with my son and health leaders are still waiting on toxicology results from the coroner's office to determine an official cause of death in those six cases. They tell us they are hoping to get some of those results by tomorrow. Let's hope and soon. Adrian Moore, live in the newsroom for us tonight. Adrian, thank you.